hi viewers welcome to my channel thank you for joining us on this tutorial in this video i want to show everyone on how to visualize google earth imagery directly on autocad so to do that quickly all you have to do is to come to the sign in icon here then, then you have to click on sign in to autodex account so to create an account is so easy on autodex all you need is a valid email account as well as your password to the email account so i already have an account with autodex so the next thing i'm just going to do is to type in my email account then impute my password so if you do not have an account with autodex all you have to do is to come below here to create an account it's so easy so when you have your account created with autodex you have to come to the email box you click on it then you have to type your email address so i'm just going to type mine in the course of this video I'm going to click on next so it's going to get verified then the password will be imputed accordingly then when you are done imputing your password you click on sign in so make sure your system is connected to an active internet so as you can see it is completely locked in so when you are done with that the next thing is to come to insert then you scroll down to set location you click on that you are going to see the two options directly from map or from file so if you have your kml file you can directly load that by clicking that from file so you will navigate to the folder so this is one of my kml file so i don't want to use that method in the course of this video so the method i'll be using is from map so i'm just going to click from map so as you can see these are the different um area google earth imagery so you can actually see a road map directly on autocad as well that is the open street map okay so you can also see your area imagery and you can have a bed eye view of your area so in the course of this video i want to visualize the google earth imagery such as what you are seeing on the screen okay so all i'm going to do is to click on area imagery so when you are done clicking on that you will come to your address above here you click on that then you can type either the latitude and longitude of your location or the address of that location so i'll be going with the address of my location so i want to visualize somewhere in africa in nigeria so i'm just going to type my address of interest So I'm done doing that. So when you are done typing your address of interest, you click on the search icon. So it is going to load the options that is available. So you are expected to drop the marker somewhere around your location. So you can also swipe, you can also zoom or you can pan to your area of interest so i'm actually familiar with all this region so i just want somewhere here okay so i'm going to drop my marker here so you are going to see the marker that has been dropped already on the imagery so the next thing is to click on next so it will load up the coordinate system you want the area imagery to be on 
So as it's going to load up the coordinate system that uh, the geographic location is expected to use. So there are different coordinate system. However, in the course of this video, I'll be using the MENA Nigeria Mid Belt for my location. Okay, there is the WGS84, which is the worldwide acceptable reference system. So I'll be using the local system in the course of this video. So either way, you can use the coordinate system you are actually interested in. All right, so I'm going to click on that. You're expected to click on your coordinate system as well. Then your drawing unit, you can make it meters. Okay, then you click on continue anyways. So when you are done with this setup here, you click on next. So it's going to ask you to choose a point okay you can actually type the eastings and nothings of your region of interest but i will just click on any region of my autocad to automatically load that so make sure your system is connected to an active internet because this is going to be using an internet connection so as you can see here it has been loaded already and this is the at imagery directly on AutoCAD. Please, if you have watched this video to this extent, do it to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification on this channel so that you can keep getting valuable content from us. Thank you. So, this is the Google Earth imagery. So, there are other imagery formats the map road, which is still the open street map. You can click on that to see the beautiful uh, visualization of your interest. So you can see this is a roadmap of my region. So I'm just going to change that to the area imagery. You can still choose to see the two together, the area imagery and the roadmap by using the map hybrid. So I'm just going to click on that. You are going to see the area imagery as well as the roadmaps on your AutoCAD work environment. So you can choose to extract boundary lines. You can choose to digitize your features such as the roads or whatsoever features that you can see on the map by going to the home and you can use your polyline and digitize and do whatsoever measurement you want to do so it is actually to scale there is nothing to be scared of and the rest of it thank you for watching please do where to share as well as hit on the subscribe icon to keep getting more valuable content on this channel thank you see you next time